Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Do Dockridge on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, uh, this is Dockage. It's a fancy, easy to use, and reactive self hosted Docker co composed YAML stack oriented manager. I look at it like it's a more fancy UI compared to Portainer. And, um,. It's got quite a few features, and here's some of the UI, and then here's some screenshots of what it looks like. It looks uh, like Uptime Kuma because it's made by the creator of Uptime Kuma, so it's pretty neat. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll down to how to install Dockage on Portainer right here. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So, a, a version 3.8 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to set some services in this service underneath the service called do a Dockage. And then container names, Big Bear Dockage. And, and, and then the image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no year before this. And this is the do a Docker image. And then the Docker image tag right here is one. The environment variables, so we're going to set a dockage stacks directory to opt stacks. And, and, and then the container restart policy is on the stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set some volumes down here. So it's going to need access to the docker.sock. So the host on the left, the container on the right. And then um, it, it's going to need a data directory, so dockage da a data. It, it, it's a local volume. And then on the right side is app da uh, data. Uh, that's on the container. And then it's going to mount the stacks directory. So on the left is the host. On the right is the container. So op stacks and op stacks. And uh, according to the documentation, uh, these must be the same. So we're going to go over to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my Portainer and get this set up. So now I'm going to start on Portainer. So I'm going to go on the local. And then stacks. And then add stack up here. And then now, and now I'm going to name the stack dockage uh, stack. Then I'm going to scroll down to web editor right here. And then I'm going to paste it in. So now I'm going to say deploy the stack. And now uh, we've deployed Dockage with Portainer. So now I'm going to explain the stack options. So I'm going to go into the uh, Dockage stack right here. And then you're, you're in the stack. So you can stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack, uh, stack duplication uh, slash migration. You can also see the containers down here of what's running in the stack and access control. You can go in the editor right here and you can edit your Docker Compose. And then you can come down here and update the stack. Now, uh, if the developer pushes an update to uh, the, um, the the tag one up here, now uh, what this can do is it can repull the image off the registry and get the local cache updated and then push out the Docker uh, container and deploy it. So uh, you'll, you'll get the new code with this if you do this. So I'm going to exit out of here. So um, you can now go into the container and see more info about the containers. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're going to go in the cont containers down here, and then um, you'll have actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash, edit. You see the container status down here. Uh, logs, inspect, stats, console, and attach. The logs is great for debugging. 
And then you can see the access controls, the create image, the container details. You can see the volumes, so the, ho the host volumes, and then the path in the container. You can see the network that it created. So, that's a little bit about the container options. So now, we're going to go to the IP address of your portainer, and then 5001 for the port the Dockage is listening on. I'm going to return or enter to go to it. Now you can create an admin account. So, create an admin account. And then now you can uh, just uh, press return or enter to create your account. And then you can uh, take a Docker run and then convert it to Docker Compose right here. You can also go up here to the console and you can go into the stacks. And you can scan stacks folder. You can go, go, go to the settings and you can change the primary host in the general, appearance, security, and then the about. You can go over here and you can see containers. So the dockage stack that's not managed by dockage because it's managed by the portainer. And you, you can edit this a container. So you can come in here and you can edit it down here. You can add volumes and then environment variables, the network, container dependencies. And then you can see the raw Docker Compose over here. You can set it in an internal network or an external. You can go up here to save. And then now you can um, go back into it and you can start it. You, you can edit it like what we just done. You can start it and you can update the current tag and then you can delete it. So you can go ahead and start it. And then now it's listed on 8080. So you can go in here and you can see it's working. So I'm going to go backwards. You can go into the bash and you can go into the container. So I'm going to go backwards. So now you can stop and down. So edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop and down, and then not, not, now you can delete it. So I showed you step by step on getting Dockridge running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.